I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple lyric video like this one using Canva. This method works whether you have the free or pro version of Canva. I've changed for the better this time. This is useful for any musicians to make videos or anyone that wants to add captions to a video. So if you want to learn how I do this, sit back, relax and let's get straight into it. Firstly, you'd want to go into Canva and open up a fresh video template here. Just click create blank and this will create a 1920 by 1080 pixel video. If you're new to Canva, this is the Canva editor. On the bottom is called the timeline and here you can scrub along the timeline using this playhead. This is the main preview window. On the left hand side is where you can add all your elements, audios or videos. So the first thing I want to do is add a video. If you scroll down on the left hand side and go up to videos, now you can add in any video you want. You can upload your own video or use one of Canva's videos. Anything with a crown on it is a pro video, so you will need a pro Canva license to use this video. However, there are plenty of free videos that you can also use. I'm going to use an audio visualizer for my background. So I'll just search in audio visualizer here. And then it will come up with different audio wavelengths. Just find one that you like and then you can drag it onto your timeline. I've already used one before. So what I'm going to do is go into my recently used. See all and then find one that I like. I think it was this one. So I'll click and drag this onto the timeline. I'm going to place it onto the timeline, not full size for now, because I want to adjust the size manually. So what I'll do is I'll pause that, click and drag the corners to make it bigger. So it's bigger than the entire frame. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to press play to see what that looks like. So you're just getting a bottom part. I didn't want it full screen because I'm going to add text in the middle here. What you'll notice is when you drag a video onto the page, the timeline adjusts to match the length of the video. So here you'll see it's 20 seconds long. Now what I want to do is add an audio. So you can go over to here, add an audio from Canva or upload your own audio. Most likely you'll be uploading your own. What I've done is already uploaded one. So I'll just drag that onto here. Just click and drag onto the timeline and you'll see the audio waves on the bottom. I'll just quickly play that to see that it's working. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. Okay, that looks fine to me. What you can do is click on the audio here and then there's a speaker up here and you can change the volume if you wish. I'm just gonna drop it down to 50% so it isn't too loud when I'm talking and making this recording. Next thing you want to do is add some text. So I'm gonna click on text here. I'll choose add a header and drag it onto the page and then make that bigger and then your text is on the page. Now you can just have holding text for now because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the timeline and add the lyrics line by line as we go along. But firstly, I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to change it to Norwester and drop the size maybe to 55. I'll keep it like that for now in case uh, the sentences get quite long. At the time of recording, Canva does not have multi-track editing, meaning you cannot place text on a separate track in the timeline above the video. So the workaround I use is to split the video clip into different pieces and change the text for each clip. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll play the clip and listen out for the song and then pause it after the first sentence. I've seen a lot of change. 
so I've paused it here what I'm going to do is now the playhead is at the point where the first sentence ends I'm going to press S and that's going to split the clip alternatively you could do right click and split page so now we have a split here so I'll select the clip double click on the text and type in the lyrics Bring the playhead to the start and let's see if that matches up. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. You see the text changes back to its original text, which was at a heading. So now I'll go through the entire video, pause it, and change the text with each lyric. What I want to do before I proceed is actually change the animation. So I'll select the text. Then at the top, click on Animate. There are lots of animations to choose from. I'll choose Brief because I like it for this song. As you can see, it makes the text look more engaging and it will probably increase viewer retention. Once you click on it, it will be applied automatically. Now, if I bring the playhead to the start, I've I can see what it looks like. Change, been through a lot. Okay, now the animation is applied to the first clip. I need to apply it to the rest of the clips. If I do it now, it will save me from having to change it for each split clip I create. So I'll just do that now. Make sure it's on text animations and not page animations. If you click on page animations, this will animate the background video as well. So you need to click on text animations and then go to breathe and that would make the text breathe for the rest of the clip. Now what I want to do is play the rest of the song and then change the lyrics as I go along. Been through a lot of pain. So I paused it, I'll split it, select that clip. A lot of pain. Some things are not the same. the same as they were a year ago okay I won't go through the rest of the video but you get the idea I just played it whenever he finished a sentence I'd pause it I'd click S to split the clip and then I change the text on the page now if I go back to the beginning hopefully this should all be lined up. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. Yeah, that looks good to me. Now, if you mistime it slightly and it doesn't quite line up, you can always adjust it by hovering over the edge of the clip here, and you can see the two arrows appear, and then you can lengthen it or shorten it to get it right. And the same with any of these clips, you can lengthen it and shorten it as you go along. So then you just go through the entire video. Now, because the original clip was only, I think, 20 seconds long, you might have to duplicate it. So you just select the clip. What I do is Control C and then Control V, add it to the end and keep doing that. That's why at the beginning I said I wanted a background image that could easily be replicated and it wouldn't look too different if it was repeated over and over again. So that's the gist of it. Once you finish, just download the video as an MP4 and you're good to go. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.